Hi you guys, so we're over here at the raised garden beds. Garlic's getting ready to come out, which is awesome. But my spinach has run its course. It has bolted and I'm getting very little uh, food nutrients from it. So I had a, a sub ask me about, uh, so if you're letting your spinach go to seed, like how do you do that, right? And it can be overwhelming the first time you look you look at a row of spinach like this and you think, God, do I have to leave it? Or can I pull some of it? And how does that work? So yeah, let's talk about it. So this is how I do it. And just because I do it this way doesn't mean you have to do it this way. So, you know, there you go. There's your disclaimer. What I like to do is just look around my patch and I want to save the seeds from the best of the best, right? The best spinach plant, the one that has given me the most prolific and maybe like this, I like the leaf size better or whatever. Now keep in mind heirloom, open pollinated heirloom heritage. Those are the only varieties that you should be saving seed from. If you try to save seed from a hybrid you're not going to get what you planted and it's just going to get worse every year that you plant them. After about maybe even the first year, you may not get any usable product. After a few years, you won't get anything. So if your package has an F is in Frank and a number on it, don't save it. Or if it doesn't say heirloom, open pollinated or heritage, then don't, don't even bother saving the seeds from it. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but you can see here that I've got like this really dark green kind of spinach and then I've got this lighter green I have two different varieties here I don't care if they cross so they're very close to each other they've probably crossed and frankly they probably crossed years ago because I've been saving my own seed and eating it for years so what I like to do is figure out which one I want to save seed from as I've said I like this one this big tall one and let's save one or two or three. These are going to give hundreds of seeds from uh, the darker green varietal. Okay, so I've marked this one and this one and these two down here. And the reason I've marked them is because I'm going to pull the rest and harvest what leaves are left. Um, these are the two dark. This is a lighter one, and but it's got a lot of growth. It's got a lot of arms. I like that. And then this one. I was originally going to use this one, and I want to get woo-woo on you for a second. I went to mark that one, and something inside of me said, eh. It just said, eh, meh. So I moved over here, and that seemed, that seemed right. So I tied it, and I tied it. Listen to that little voice inside of you always about everything not just plants. Um, but back to reality, it also, these are fantastic plants and they grow really well. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, start harvesting around it. So what I need to do this is just to have two containers, one in which to put the spinach, one in which to put the spent spinach, and I'm gonna go ahead and compost that. So I just, I mark the spinach because, you know, you can kind of get in your zone and when you get in the zone, you forget, you forget. And sometimes you just start working on autopilot and there goes everything, right? So I'm just gonna pick off good leaves um, and put them to my right, ones that are edible. And then the rest, I'll just plunk into here. Uh, when the spinach does start to go to uh, Bolt, though you'll notice the leaves change right they get pointy they're still edible but if they're gigantic and pointy then they're not um, I don't have any that are that old remember I'm probably a month or more behind you guys because I'm over here on the west coast uh, things just move slower out here but anyway this is how you do it go ahead pick pick you know that's pretty pointy isn't it I'm not going to pick these little tiny ones because I I just don't want to I don't, I don't like that idea very much. 
Here are some old spent leaves that are yellow. I'm not going to pick those, but I'll pick these two. Anyway, you see how it goes. So what I'll do is compost these, keep these, bring them inside the house to eat, and I'm going to leave those marked ones in place. And then when the seeds fully mature, and they're not they're not no anywhere near mature yet. So if you pick this and hang it upside down, it's not going to dry and work for seed saving. They need to get older. But I want this bed. I want to use this bed for something else, and my spinach is burning out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, harvest all of it. You can see I've got a tomato, self-seeding tomato that started in here. And I've got a flower that's coming up in here. I'm going to go ahead and leave those. I'll work around everything else and chances are I'm going to find other things because you guys may remember last year when I harvested uh, my tomatoes. I had tomatoes in several of these beds. Uh, a lot of the tomatoes had fallen and I just buried them. When you see all these tomato plants, I didn't plant any of them this year. <laughs> I guess it was from tomatoes gone past. Uh, these are some radishes that are going to seed and I'm going to save those seed too, but aren't they aren't that just beautiful? Anyway, same over there. Oop. I didn't plant any of those purposefully. So anyway, I'm going to get back to work. And uh, yeah, when it comes time to harvest the actual seed, we'll do that together. Uh, but for now, leave those in place. Pick all around it. Harvest what you want to eat and have a spinach salad tonight. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.